It's that time of year again to manufacture consent again to get you to vote for the wrong candidate again. Even if you vote for the right candidate again, it doesn't matter. Right? Remember the last time? The Democratic uh, primary, Democratic primary debates, right? Those, those are what precede the Democratic fake primary event that happens in, uh, in February of next year, right? But before we do that, the first of a, of a number of primary debates where the candidates face off against each other will be held in Miami, right, in, uh, uh, on June 26th and 27th. Now, you remember the last time, remember, remember how CNN rigged the primary uh, for, uh, against Bernie Sanders by asking him, you know, hard questions and then throwing softballs at Hillary Clinton? But not only that, actually giving the questions, giving the actual questions that the, that the commentators, the moderators were, go, were going to ask, giving the questions to Hillary Clinton and, uh, and not Bernie Sanders. You remember when that happened, right? And everybody denies that it happened. Remember with uh, Donna Brazile and uh, overt cheating, right? C- clear, un- unequivocal cheating. Now, that was CNN, in fairness. That was CNN. And this time, the first debates are going to be with uh, MSNBC, right? Because they're sanctioned, right? The DNC loves MSNBC because they're all... They're all in the pocket together. So let's look. They just announced their five commentators, right? The five hitmen designed to to rig the primary debates to make it look like, guess who? Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are winning. Uh, so, so here you go. You got Rachel Maddow, right? Some of the biggest conspiracy theorists, liars, you know, crooked, crooked pay-for-play hacks <laughs> uh, coming out from MSNBC. So... Rachel Maddow, queen of the Russiagate narrative, Sleepy Chuck Todd, uh, Les- Lester Holt, uh, Savannah Guthrie, and Telemundo Diaz, whatever his name is. I don't know his name. So these are the uh, people that are going to manufacture the consent and uh, give all the very difficult questions to the candidates that we know and love, the progressives, Tulsi Gabbard, if she makes it to the stage. They may still try to eliminate her. Uh, you know, definitely Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, they're going to hammer those folks, even if they're going to rig the crowd. They always rig the crowd. The crowd will be, uh, you know, some of the, the finest pick Joe Biden, you know, uh, uh, advocates. <laughs> Pay for play, right? Fill up the audience with, with people that are like, oh, Joe Biden, of course, uh, Joe Biden. What's the, what's the, you know, what's the question here? Of course I'm voting for Joe Biden. Bernie Sanders, no, 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 he's too old. He's a Jew. And Miss NBC, I'll, I would like to write some of the questions. Right? Ask you say say, uh, uh, excuse me, Bernie Sanders, did twelve Russians, uh, GRU Russian military agents, hack the Democratic convention and and give the nomination to Hillary Clinton over you, or was that uh, was that uh, Seth Rich? Did Seth Rich leak it out the back door, and uh, you sat on your hands and said nothing? Uh, you give the real questions, right? Okay. Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden. Oh, my God. So just listen to this shit. So real quick. So uh, N- NBC announced on Tuesday the five moderators for the first Democratic primary uh, primary debate set for late this month. It'll be June uh, 26th and June 27th. Savannah Guthrie, Lester Holt, Chuck Todd, Rachel Maddow, and Jose Diaz-Baltar. We'll moderate the debate, which will take place at the center in downtown Miami over two nights. Two nights, June 26th and June 27th. So that was the idea, to dilute the float, make it seem like, oh, there's so many picks. Look, it's like a small, it's like a buffet. It's like the open buffet. You could pick all of these candidates. Look how many candidates we have. We have a whole display of candidates, our wonderful, delicious candidates. The debate, which is sanctioned by right, again, I come from the from the you know from the place that that the Democratic primaries are rigged. Right? Why are we having a debate? We're debating rigged primaries. Right? You got to get to the that's the that should be the topic. The topic of the first debate is: Are the primaries rigged? Are the elections fair in America? And the answer would be no. The debate, which is sanctioned by the Democratic National Committee, will air live across NBC, MSNBC, and Telemundo from 9 to 11 p.m. each night. Again, two nights. Right, so Holt is the nightly news with Lester Holt and Dateline. This is all shows you don't watch, mainstream media garbage. Guthrie is co-anchor of Today and uh, NBC News chief legal analyst. 
I love when they give him a, a, a very fancy title. Chief Legal Analyst. Oh, boy. Todd is moderator of uh, Meet the Press with Chuck Todd, NBC's news political director. Oh, uh, he's the director. He directs something. Uh, Maddow is host of Rachel Maddow's show, Conspiracy Queen number one, right there. It's sad. Diaz is uh, Telemundo and NBC, NBC Nightly News Sunday. All right, so what what else did I want to say about this? Let me read the rest of it. So so both uh, both nights, both debate nights will have the same format. Holt will moderate the first hour with Guthrie and Baltar. So so Holt is the main guy. And, and you're going to have uh, Woody Guthrie and Baltar appearing alongside him. Holt will also appear in the second hour with Sleepy Chuck Todd and Conspiracy Theory Rachel Maddow moderate, moderating NBC News. Uh, NBC announced. So, so it's one guy with two schmucks. And in the second hour, you'll have the same guy with two different schmucks. In total, 20 candidates will participate in the two-night event. Uh, with 10 taking each taking the stage each night. Now, we have 25 shit sandwiches, right? There's 25 candidates announced already, right? And they have criteria, right? And here it is. Candidate, uh, candidates need to either register 1% support in three qualified polls or have qualified polls. <laughs> They're fucking, there is no such thing. The only qualified poll is the one that I did standing out in the park actually asking people who you're going to vote for. Uh, my, my poll didn't make the, make the cut. Uh, polls of 65,000 unique donors to their campaign. With a, all of this stuff can be fudged. The campaign with a minimum of 200 different donors in at least 20 states to qualify for the debate. Should more than 20 candidates qualify for the debate, the Democratic National Committee, committee will use a series of tiebreakers to determine who makes it onto that stage. Uh, why do I sense uh, Tulsi Gabbard is already going to get cut out, cut out of that thing? Right? So, so there you go. You know, manufacturing that consent, you got to get that, you know, you got to get that steel. You got to get that, you got to get people thinking that this is, you know, you, you don't, the, it, it's already decided who's going to win the debate. We know who's going to, according to MSNBC, you'll watch it and say, oh, I love... Uh, Oh, who's that? This is Bernie Sanders guy. This guy's great. Or oh wow, Elizabeth Warren and Tulsi Gabbard. I like these people. Who are they? And who's this idiot? This fucking Joe Biden. He doesn't say anything. It's all you know, innuendo and uh, and and hyperbole and and you know and just it's just uh you know fake 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 rhetoric, right? You know, Camilla Harris. And, uh, who are these people, right? But then MSNBC will spin it and say, see, you see, we told you Joe Biden was the winner. Of the event, right? and, and again, it's it's not going to be fair. They'll 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 you know Bernie Sanders says Mike will fail. He'll, they'll give him an earpiece where he can't hear the question. I right? make him seem old and senile. Right? The whole thing is rigged. Right? The whole thing the whole thing is designed to make you to make their pick look good. And these shit sandwiches over here, you know, these other people look bad. Right? It's, it's so it's so unfair. It's such an unfair system we have. Right? So, so anyway, but you watch, you know, because it's good. You might, you might have, you might have someone hit the ball out of the park and, uh, you know, it's like, but by accident, Bernie Sanders, you know, had a great, uh, event at the Fox, uh, Fox news. You remember the debate he, he, he did at a town hall at Fox news and he just did a great job, right? Because, you know, he, he, sometimes you can out, uh, weigh, you could, um, outweigh the margin of cheating, right? So we'll, we'll see what happens. So. Definitely be watching. Marcus Conte reporting. Get, become a uh, subscriber. Don't because it's just become a subscriber of this channel. Patreon, PayPal. Right? Marcus Conte reporting. 